Welcome everybody back to another Bold Cast One Piece reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is One Piece episodes 194 and 195. Mm -hmm. Leave a like, subscribe, check out Patreon. You get two weeks ahead of Uncut Reactions, one week ahead of Edited Reactions. Stay tuned for our discussion, which may be coming before or after the next filler arc that happens after this. We'll be watching that. And if you want to get, if you're watching on YouTube, you want to get ahead of that, you can check out Patreon and see uh, if we're nearing the end of that. I don't know how many episodes it is. See how far ahead we are down there. It should be around 14 episodes. Other than that, yeah, we'll be doing a podcast discussion reviewing Skypea and Jaya and possibly the, uh, the following filler arc, but we'll see. <laughs> Leave a like and subscribe. Let's go. I never said it out loud, but I'm like, if the beanstalk didn't come from the upper yard, then what the fuck was it doing there? What was it before Shandora got there? The wolves! They did party with them. Nice. It could have just been a bean. But like... I feel like it was probably fuck? more of like a thematic, like, Jack and the beanstalk kind of... I'm like... not saying there's anything wrong with it being there. I just... What the fuck? Why? What is it then? If it didn't come from the land where, like, you know, if it grew in a land where there nothing can grow. But it was growing in, in the, it was growing right where the bell was. But the island got right. skewered by it. Right. So it was there before. What gold? There's none left. You idiots. <laughs> 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 for the day are they really gonna try and steal there's what, no, what? what gold <laughs> i thought it's been established there is no gold there's the bell it fell into the sea no chopper is this the filler arc have we entered it already oh they found it hmm No, these two episodes are canon. Not 186 mm. is the beginning of the filler arc. Bum, 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 bum. Too bad there wasn't just pieces of that giant ball that Luffy had to... The western seashore. Is it in, like, the hole? Because <laughs> it's like a crescent moon shaped mm. kind of thing with the open hole. Did it, did it fall in the middle of the open area? Mm. Yeah, I guess Robins wanted to check it out. Everyone's all like half dead, bandaged up. Oh. Oh my god. All hung over. Yeah, four days of Four day bender. You love to see everybody come together for a common goal. Mm hmm. Skypeans are coming to help too. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. They all work together. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Just all these lies. <laughs> this is the, these are the perfect people for him to show all his stuff to. <laughs> the king of iron sheets. Is it gonna just show off the noise that it makes? Would you trade me dials for this? Oh my god, really? You're gonna swindle these people? <laughs> Usa! They're in all their homes were just to fucking destroy. You're gonna swindle them out of some their their only technology. Yeah, what, you're talking about these dials, all their dials that they had got, got destroyed. This place was really his fucking Namek, man. So many dials. Imagine the stuff that Usopp can make with these dials. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, he puts like something crazy on the slingshot so he can just it, like shoots extra mm. fast. Oh, inside there, because there's gold in there. Right. That's so smart. So the last of their treasure that they have, <laughs> they're gonna. Well, take they don't. It. It's not valuable to them anyway. They got their, uh, their bell, bell back. The good snake. The snake was only being like that because. <laughs> Usopp really loves the dials. Mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff. And it doesn't digest anything. Yeah. I wonder if Nola would like it if they pulled all of this rubble out. It's huge. Oh. It has like the little uh, chestnut things on the top of it. Mm. The poneglyph. You see? It's like mm -hmm. capped with them. Yeah. Robin's like, I disagree. <laughs> what is it, Robin? I'm reading them. Poseidon? Another ancient weapon? So now there's two? Are there gonna be nine of them and they're all the planets? Mm. Mm -hmm. Someone graffitied <laughs> was here. <laughs> Literally. Goldie Roger. Apparent I I'm sure he did. I don't see what else that could mean. Didn't like Gone Fall or something mention Goldie Roger? Somebody did. Damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Straight up found the bell, told no one. Did he have a Logia fruit or something? Mm -hmm. he had the wind wind fruit. I bet he's still fucking alive, man. Two kinds of Poneglyph stone. Mm. He said he'll guide it. What does that mean? The one piece. The one piece? That's what you said? Um. Yeah. But why? Classic. 
歴史に関わる大問題だあんたたち黄金を欲しがっていた世界ではバースより価値があるテイクドスピラー What really? <laughs> Damn <laughs> That's, That's a huge so much choking. gold. They got enough gold if they take the stuff out of yeah. Holy Nola. Shit. Like, they can't even fit that on their boat. That will capsize the Mary. They'll bring it to uh, Cricket. Because mm. it has the little thing on the top. It'll fit mm -hmm. in perfectly. That was crazy. Yeah. Since we're trying to steal this much gold, <laughs> that's like not even very much gold compared to that giant thing that they're giving them. <laughs> oh, Chopper! <laughs> Who hit Chopper? <laughs> <laughs> how are they even carrying that? Imagine how heavy that would be. They're fucking warriors, man. Oh god. They think it's like a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> they just don't want them to leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, just like, hey, we need to give you your present. Yeah. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> After they dragged it all the way here. <laughs> He's like dropping it, it's like falling out of the bag. <laughs> when Nami found, finds out that they missed out on that much gold. Solid gold pillar. <laughs> Where even is Nami? Probably back at the boat. Already? She already took her gold and ran just in case. <laughs> nice. That was so good. That gives the same energy as when, uh, at the end of Arlong Park, when Nami just, like, stole everybody's wallets or yeah. watches or whatever it was, like, all their valuables. Yeah, it was good. What a great episode. I love that. Interesting. So it's like all the- she better be remembering, like, what's on all the other poneglyphs. I so think that, she is. Yeah. So then- you can... We got to the- oh, I forgot the last one. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. I can't remember. We gotta go back to Alabasta, guys. Sorry. So I love how Gold Roger literally just vandalized. Like he literally just like spray painted Gold he Roger tagged, was here he tagged Gold in Roger like was here. With, with like W U Z was here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then and then, and then uh, yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's cool though. Interesting that he knew about the poneglyphs. I like that because I feel like it kind of like really makes Robin essential and, and ties her in, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like her journey of finding the Poneglyphs is like the exact journey, like Gold Roger obviously went to all of the places that have all the Poneglyphs. So she, like by following her goal specifically, they will find, they will go along the same path as him, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's, so there's, it, there's, yeah, the so the One Piece probably has something to do with all this, all the Poneglyph shit. Yeah. I've... There's the blank history. There's the One Piece. There's the obvious goal. There's Raftal, which I forget what was Raftal. She mentioned that before. I think in Alabasta. I forget what that's about. Mm. Um, I think it's a place. I don't know. But there's Pluton, which, uh, on its own was like we were thinking like plutonium. Because they were talking about a weapon and there's, you know, it's Japan, so there's like obviously all this nuke stuff going on there. Uh, but now there's Poseidon, mm -hmm. which is another uh, weapon. So there's talk of the sun god, there's talk of uh, 
like, what is it? I, I'm terrible with fucking, is it Greek, myth is Poseidon Greek, Greek mythology? Poseidon's Greek, but Pluto would be, like, Roman. Right. Well, maybe each, it'll all be, each of the different planets will be, like, the, the god related to, a or, planet? like, a, a different uh, religion or a different culture, mm. and each of them will represent, because what's a fucking Poseidon? What do you mean? Like, Pluto is the planet Pluto, right? Yeah. But it's, uh... Hades. Hades. But Poseidon, I'm I'm, I'm thinking of gods, and I, I'm drawing a blank on the fucking name of the planet. Um, I'm Neptune. So, I feel so, yeah, Neptune. So, there, so that's two right there. Maybe there's other ones that'll be, like, maybe it'll be, like, um... N it'll be Norse for one of them, and it mm. will be, like, whatever the Norse version. Like, is Saturn... Thor? I forget. I don't know. Uh, no. I don't know if they have. A... Well, it's all all usually like there's there's like a common thing, and it makes sense in a world in a world like One Piece where like they're traveling the world. And there's all mm -hmm. these different cultures, and there's all these different influences. We got Egypt, and now we got like you know Aztec, you know Mexico City style. Um, and, um, and, you know, other influences as well. And we're, you mean, maybe there's a more Shintoism place or, I, I don't know. So it makes sense in a world like One Piece where there's all these different cultural influences depending on where they go. And we got, well, we got mm -hmm. Elbaf and those guys were kind of like Vikings. Mm -hmm. Um, so maybe there's something there. I don't know. There, but all, if you think about if there is a pattern being created here of like all, like nine different weapons, nine different planets. Mm -hmm. And, um... We get to the end and now they're teasing like the sun god and maybe the sun god or the sun is is like the one piece or putting all the planets mm. together in the center like how they're arranged in a circle like this how like how planets orbit the earth mm -hmm. you mean planets orbit the sun orbit the sun <laughs> i'm uh I'm, I'm a um galileo denier <laughs> um in this, once you once you kind of link all of the the poneglyphs together, in the center is the sun mm. or the one piece. Maybe that's related to the sun god or something like that. Maybe this is the maybe this is like the how it all kind of connects mm. and how it all is gonna kind of build off of each other. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. But, but that means that we'll we'll need to look out for, uh, you know, other godly type names that represent you know, different names for each of the planets like Saturn and, you know, Mars and whatever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. I think, I think that, because that, that's kind of a theme that's been growing and I wonder, well, it'll, it'll depend because there was already Pluton outside of this arc, but now this is a very like God centric arc. It's very all yeah. about gods. It's all about mythology. So we have evidence outside of this god focused arc of this of you know a piece of the evidence in this you know theory that i'm pu putting forward here outside of the arc so it's possible that we'll get more outside in the next arc mm -hmm. but you know whether or not the theme continues will will determine whether it's uh it's it's worth anything but mm -hmm. my mind instantly went to that once once they said uh, poseidon mm -hmm. like oh well that's you know yeah yeah so we'll see we will. I, I, I just, I love them running away at the end and Robin just being like, all right, we're running away now. I don't <laughs> care about the gold. I thought you guys wanted it. Whatever, let's go. <laughs> it's so funny. I wish Nami was there though. Mm -hmm. Just to, I don't know. It just makes me a little bit sad that she wasn't there in that like final shot when the, with them running away. I'm surprised she wasn't there getting the gold. Was she there getting the gold? I thought she was. I thought she was too. Yeah, she was. She just. Yeah, she, she must have. You're 100 percent right. She fucking ran as quickly as she can back to the ship with whatever she could carry. Mm -hmm. I was just look. Some of the coolest stuff here doesn't look to be gold. There's like this pearl, like giant pearl mm -hmm. rope. This silver sword here. There's all these crystals. Mm -hmm. I love how they went exploring inside of Nola to get all that stuff out. Yeah, I like that that came back in the end because it was kind of a joke. They're like, oh, all the gold all the in stuff here. stuff is in there, yeah. And how Luffy didn't get any of it the first time, so it's yeah. funny. The snake just parties for four days, and then they go in there and steal the stuff. Uh -huh. So, with as far as, again, with, with theorizing and stuff, the Shandorans have had this duty to protect this Poneglyph for 800 years. Mm -hmm. And now they're, because Robin is, like, putting it together, now their thing is fulfilled. 
or maybe maybe it was when when they didn't know, but it was when Roger came and he was I guiding guess. it to the ends of the earth. Well, I think the whole thing was is they didn't know. They don't know the reason. Yeah, They're, they they are operating off of tradition to protect this because. Mm -hmm. But why? That's the question. That's the question yeah. posed by this. Well, and the whole thing. But now that oh, now it's complete. We don't have to fight and protect this anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Who? Or what? told them to do that they worship the sun god so maybe that has so that that again fe feeds into maybe what, what i was saying before where if gold goldie roger came here and was like i will guide this till the ends of the earth mm -hmm. while he was on his journey reaches the end finds all the poneglyphs puts everything together mm -hmm. and then he like is you know, then then that's it so then he reaches the end and then some then that's where the one piece is supposedly mm -hmm. and then he comes all the way back and then he dies so, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. So he, he must have had some kind of encounter. If if the if there is some kind of connection to the sun god, or if there if it even is a sun god, maybe it's maybe it's. Uh, I mean, they had f like they had like four different types of gods when they were doing that like ceremony thing. They had like they were like the sun god, the moon god, the forest god, and the rain god, or whatever. Well, yeah, because um, the the giant snake was like the god of the wind they were calling mm. so there again this is we we need to separate initially the difference between po uh monotheistic and polytheistic gods or um shintoist style religion and their concept of gods and, and great spirits versus the idea of a deity that you worship as as like you know in a more christian sense or in a more um i guess like more of a norse sense you could say so um, I think what they're talking about when they're talking about the sun god, th there's no real representation of it. We only saw just, it was, when they were talking about the sun god, it was just zooming in on like their rug in the middle of the teepee and it, had, and it was just a big sun and they were talking about the sun god as if it's like an apex god, which makes sense because the sun normally is an apex god mm -hmm. um, because it's like the biggest, the most sun, powerful yeah. thing. It gets the giver and taker of life. It, you know, uh, represents the passage of time. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, give, it gives light, all that, all that shit. So, <clears throat> so the and if, especially now that there's these sort of connections possibly to planets, like the, it, it makes sense that the sun would be at the center because the sun mm -hmm. is at the center. And if you connect all the poneglyphs and then the sun, and then the one piece is at the center, potentially, you know, I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's something actually being built there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I'm interested. Yeah, it, so Gold Roger, like, yeah, found all the stuff and assumingly put them all together and figured out what it, like, what it meant. There's but the blank history, we don't yeah. know what that's about. And it's it's also really interesting that we keep getting, like, like there's all these ancient weapons and it says, like, these things are saying where they are and stuff, but... Like what? Like what? Like are, are are we gonna need to use them at some point? Like is there gonna be a reason that there's these big giant weapons that we now know where they are? Like Robin ha is like reading where they are, you know? Um, and Gold Roger supposedly would have known if he, since he can read and write poneglyphs as well. Mm -hmm. Um, like it, is it just gonna get like is it is is it gonna get so crazy that we're gonna need to bust out these weapons at some point or or is well, it just I, I feel like this is the kind of thing I, I feel like it's probably not really weapons it's probably more abstract than that because mm. it's usually like things are presented one way and then with the greater context we look back and it's like oh it was completely different I think that weapon being that the the way to achieve all of like what will eventually maybe be great power or some sort of great treasure like a lot of people think uh with the one piece i still am, am banking on that the end goal will be oh we look back and look at all the stuff we accomplished that's a greater treasure than you could possibly give with a physical item uh the fact that we gained all this knowledge we made all these friends we traveled and have the knowledge of the world that's like the greatest gift that you can receive uh so then i think people will be disappointed because that's my idea of what the one piece is but you know, achieve the way you get to all this, whether it is that or whether it is a great power, a great like physical power, something that you consume and like a devil fruit maybe. And, and it's like gives you great power in some way or great knowledge in some way. Um, the fact that you get there by gaining knowledge, by, f by seeking out these ancient texts and learning and like putting mm -hmm. things together and using your brain. I, it, it, it seems to me like the greater 
power or the greater thing that will be achieved will not just be a, you know, a weapon of war, a fi like a physical destructive mm -hmm. thing. It might have destructive capabilities, but I think that it's it's probably again m not going to be so simple as a big gun. You know, yeah. the the big weapon of Pluton is just a big gun. Maybe it's like a big bomb or a big bomb making machine, but maybe it'll be like a big energy creating machine, like you know, or something like that. Like it'll it can be used for other things, so it has this kind of duality to it. Mm -hmm. Um, or what, I, maybe that'll apply to many of the weapons, but I, I I get the feeling that it'll it'll probably be something a little bit more abstract than that. These weapons will be more like um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe literally just, just knowledge, just like, I don't know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe nothing, you know. Maybe they're all. Maybe... They're all like red herrings, so that people don't think to put all of them together. Yeah, they're like and looking for a physical thing. They like read one, and then they get distracted looking for that thing that may or may not exist, instead of going and finding the next poneglyph and putting them all together and like discovering Cause, actually what. Because that's what separate again thematically. That's what separates people like Robin and our crew from other pirate crews and people like Bellamy and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like that's a theme throughout the whole story. Is there's people like Arlong who just want to conquer everything, and it's like that's such a petty goal. There's people like um, um, Don Krieg who just are trying to dominate and like, you know, steal everything mm -hmm. and then go into the Grand Line and find the great treasure. And it's like, that's, it's shallow. There's not, there's not much depth to that. So what the real depth is like enjoying the journey, learning about the world around you, experiencing the lives of the peoples that you touch. And, um, you know, that's the real treasure. That's the real experience. That's what it's all about. It's not, you know, they aren't really, like them, them, them finding the gold here at the end and leaving with it mm -hmm. is a joke because that's all it is. That's all anything like that is the real beauty. And the real thing that they gained from this was learn, was meeting all the people mm -hmm. and saving all these people and learning about the world and gaining this knowledge that will further take them down a road of self-discovery. So mm -hmm. I think that's, that, uh, I, that's why that, that's that kind of idea is why I'm so attached to the idea of the one piece not being just a treasure but a lot of people seem pretty upset by the fact that I would say that so, which means that there's probably some other information I don't have but still I think at this point um, the theming is very consistently uh, there are better and bigger things out there than physical treasure and mm -hmm. so, and it is something worth searching for is not you know, like, and even at the end here, it's like the bell, they got the bell, but they're, the reason why they're protecting the bell is gone. The real, yeah. the real good thing about the bell is the beauty of its, of its chime and the fact that it brings people together. Mm -hmm. it, it's this psychological and emotional connection with Cricket and the Chandian people and their past mm -hmm. and what this all means on an emotional level. It has nothing to do with this bell is really valuable you know that's yeah. not the reason why it's valuable it's valuable because it means something in their heart mm -hmm. so i think that that's that's kind of this guiding principle that carries through the whole show and what will probably carry through these you know uh pluton and poseidon and um and possibly even the one piece mm -hmm. but there's still a lot more to uncover and that's yeah. part of the fun Mm -hmm. i agree i i hope next episode i want to see that fucking bell me just hate his life mm -hmm. watch him be like asleep or just ignoring it just he'll watch him be there dreaming just like i don't hear anything and it's just like totally like it, it, yeah just totally even though he knows that it's real just refusing to acknowledge it <laughs> yeah something like that but we shall see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love I love stuff I love I just I loved this arc of the episodes with Robin yes. where she's like so exploring good. like I, I love it I it's love so it good. so much and I can't wait like I hope ob obviously the next part's gonna be filler but I hope I mean they'll, they might that one filler episode that we watched it but like I really want to see more of Robin like I love Robin when she's by herself but I really want to get more of her like interacting fi with finding her place yeah. within the crew you know Mm -hmm. Like uh, I, I start really calling want people that. by their names instead of by their what they mm -hmm. do. Um, well, also Gonfall saying like, "Oh, just like that guy, yeah. Goldie Roger. Very interesting. Luffy's a lot like him." Mm -hmm. if I, we, them, it's more possible uh, evidence that, <laughs> that Garp was cucked <laughs> by Goldie Roger. Um, 
Or the other thing that we realize after that people have two sets of grandparents and he could have been like the other. Right. But it's funnier to imagine Carp getting cucked. That too. <laughs> but Goldie Roger didn't have any children. How would we know? I guess we don't know. Maybe somebody said that and I got spoiled. Huh. I, I was, I, I'm pretty sure I was told that he doesn't have any children, which would mean the only way for him to be related to Luffy was if, is if he didn't know he had children because he cucked Garp <laughs> at some point. But we also don't know if Garp is even like biologically Luffy's grandfather if he just raised mm -hmm. him. You know, there's 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 so much to learn. Because we we also still haven't even gotten to the part where that's been even slightly hinted at or revealed. No, we've seen in Garp the show once in so, the cover story. Yeah, situation. so it's like we like we're operating based on the information and the way that it was presented to us in the live action. But but I it's, sorry, just a sec. I, but I'm interested because so many things in the live action were changed. If like the introduction of that idea is going to be presented differently here, that's what I was especially say, yeah. with the addition of like Ace already being in the story, and we already know about him and that him and Luffy knew each other. Yeah. So it's like, how is that going to change how we this idea yeah. of Luffy being a kid being raised like by his grandpa, just kind of like on the beach, like hanging out by himself, trying to like build build like a little raft and sail out, you know? Mm -hmm. It, it's very interesting because yeah, we, we normally are approaching the series so much with like this, you know, we don't know anything, we don't want to know anything, we'll let the show speak for itself and then we'll take it from there. You know, we don't want to hear about fucking interviews and all this shit, but the fact that that specific detail was revealed to us, and we were always talking about, oh, was this thought of before, was this kind of developed as it went along, was this, you know, this, this reveal or this thing that we learned, is this the product of careful foreshadowing and planning or is it the product of using a bunch of loose ends to tie them in a certain way that that produces this thing that fits with all these different things mm -hmm. but weren't necessarily planned to turn into this thing and be presented in this way you know there's there's a million different ways that things can come to fruition and it all feels like it, it really um you know works together really well but behind the scenes is actually it, oftentimes in storytelling especially with big things it's like a lot of th loose threads that are like kind of tight like you don't see the 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 wiring in in your walls mm -hmm. you just see how the light turns on and it makes sense so uh a lot of it's kind of like that but um so but because we're approaching it with the knowledge that we do know this thing about luffy yeah. and garp and this weird connection that is gonna be like a big reveal and very mysterious Mm -hmm. we can kind of see from a different perspective like how that thing is tied in yeah you know how much how on purpose it is because i we do also know that uh that would that information was planned from the beginning mm -hmm. because of the uh prototype manga people have people have told us about that yeah or the the original before it was called romance dawn apparently and it was uh luffy and garp like that, that they were like the main original concept for mm -hmm. uh, the story so uh, we we know that that was planned, but it's going to be interesting seeing how those threads are kind of tied up. Yeah, and how it and kind how of the, develops in this, and then and how it's foreshadowed to people who would never be able to yeah. guess. You know, and how I'm really interested to see like how th that is portrayed in the anime, and then seeing like the changes because obviously they moved it way farther up and like changed a lot about it. And I really liked the way that it was in the live action. But like the differences in the way that it's introduced can like lead to certain theories. And also when like the second season of the live action comes out and we see how stuff goes there, that will then like reinform us about like possible future ideas and stuff of the anime and manga. Be just just because because of how in hindsight you can like whittle things down and like kind of distill them mm -hmm. if, for putting it in a new format. It's, it's all just very interesting to see how it all like works together, you know? Yes. Anyway, mm -hmm. I love this pose from Usopp. Yes, classic Usopp, love to see it. I love them waking everybody up at the start. Yeah, everyone's like, oh my God, they've been partying for four days after almost dying and fighting for their lives. Just s go back Settle to bed. Down. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Alrighty, well, leave a like and subscribe everybody. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. <laughs> they're acting like they're getting away with it. Yeah, Nami's gonna be already there, just ready to go. Start the car! <laughs> Start the car! They're like, we just want to give you more stuff and say goodbye.
<laughs> She's gonna tell. <laughs> she just doesn't. <laughs> Damn, now we just have this pillar here, I guess. <laughs> That's I said, I'm gonna cut you in a minute. <laughs> what if Blackbeard follows them up and kills all of and them? And kills all of them. <gasps> oh my god. After they're not re not fighters anymore. That would be probably the most horrible thing Could you to imagine? ever happen. <laughs> really? Now he's really looking like Garp. <laughs> How about Pierre instead? Yes. <laughs> well, as long as everybody's happy about it. Yeah. I don't see why they can't, like, be in charge together. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Whoa. There it is. <laughs> That's not as fun. <laughs> Why? Is it the one? It's the one that they brought with them. He wants to go back down. He's like, the other ones are way too fucking big up here. <laughs> Get me out <laughs> of here. This is weird. I was a respectable size back they home. They got the log for the next island. Ooh. Perfect timing. Mm hmm. Hold on, Chopper. Why are you flying through the air? <laughs> oh my god. Crazy roller coaster. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Fix their boat anyway. We still don't know. We thought it was Pagaya, but. Oh. Yeah, why on earth did you did you make that little uh <laughs> did you Mary? the Mary's all scared? Their eyes. <laughs> 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 What? It's like the, it's like the lobster express lobster. Yeah. <laughs> no. 
They're gonna float gingerly down. That is so nice. <laughs> That's unexpected. <laughs> but very nice. And the bell, back at it. To say goodbye. Like how when they rang the bell when no one was leaving. Mm -hmm. How does the octopus get back up? I don't know. Maybe he <laughs> floats back up. Maybe he's only sinking because it's uh, carrying the ship. Mm. So nice. That was very nice. Great way to end the arc. Mm hmm. Their crews, so many people. <laughs> Let's find another island to sink, just so I can salvage it. It's Why just the go kind of guy I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just go up yourself? See it for your own eyes. Nami. <laughs> 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 Some Aww. books. <laughs> Medical books could help. What? We're going away. Are they going into the calm belt? Oh boy. Oh no. Are they gonna actually drift into the calm belt or on somewhere where they don't want to be? Are they gonna go back to the like over the red line? Mm. What, what do you mean? Open your mouth, you fool. What's the problem? <laughs> Freaking idiot. <laughs> Do you see any islands down there? No? Man, it's taking a long time. <laughs> mm. Raftel was the end of the Grand Line, right? I can't remember. I, I guess probably. I forget. Oh god. You're on top of the octopus. No fear at all. <laughs> this thing's gonna like let out all the air. And they're gonna fall. What are you looking at, sir? Yeah. Is he actually blowing out the air every time he bounces? <gasps> Shrinking, yeah. Oh. Freaking Luffy. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy. It's that deflated? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my god. 
And then it started falling faster. Couldn't it fill up with more air and slow down again? What are you going to do that with two? What are you doing? What's your plan, sir? Oh, dials. <gasps> Genius. Usopp. Maybe not quite enough. Is it gonna be enough? Oh, slightly for a minute, but they don't last forever. At least slow them down so they don't go at fucking terminal velocity. Well, maybe it would have been smarter to do closer to the water. Hey, Octopus, take a deep breath. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Were they back at the island? Mm hmm. Oh. I thought they were drifting off. You better get those breath dials back. Oh, chopper, no! Careful! The water. Poor guy. Oh. <laughs> well, we made it. Mm hmm. <laughs> we already had dinner. <laughs> oh. Frickin' No Oh shit. Way. Oh shit. Where are they? I thought they were back at Jaya, but this looks like the Marines. Is this filler or is that real? I don't know. Fuck. Well, it's gearing up for the filler, so it might be setting that up. That would be great. Well, the next episode's the start of the filler arc, but that would yeah. be insane. Mm hmm. Because it said that they were drifting away, but then from the. It kind of looked like. like it kind of looked, looked like, like they landed in like the middle part there. Very nice end to the arc. I, love I agree. It. Just a, yeah. Just super nice. I really am terrified that Blackbeard is going to hear that bell. He's gonna fly up there, cause he's on the. He's, you know, they've been they've been in tandem, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I I don't like and that. Especially thought. if it's like with the with my appraisal of his character being like sort of a a dark mirror to Luffy, mm -hmm. and he'll be on like the kind of the same journey, but as like a darker representation of of what a pirate is. Mm -hmm. Kind of very similar. So if he might go up there, and last time he went to a place where we'd been was Drum Kingdom, and he fucking caused a complete uprising, and it was like bloody and terrible. Mm -hmm. That would not be good. It would not be good. Especially now that they're throwing down their arms, they're demilitarizing. <laughs> they're like, oh, we don't need to fight anymore, it just gets killed. Yeah, they're making a big, big deal of it. Like, oh, well, we we don't own the earth and our thing is done. And I say, you don't even need to learn how to fight. Your kids won't need to learn how to fight. And it's, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. good luck, I guess. <laughs> Mm -hmm. W though. Really nice. I have a whole lot to say. I loved the just them chilling as they were falling. I liked how mm -hmm. much time was spent on that. Like mm -hmm. them just hanging out and like how long it would take to go down there. It felt yeah, very I fitting. Yeah, I really like it. And it was just funny. I love that. Usopp with the breath dials. So Super smart. Cool. I love so that. So smart, this guy. He'll surprise you sometimes. Yeah, he'll just careful. jump into action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see it. Yeah. And now they're in a giant marine base. Mm hmm. Shit. Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys mm -hmm. in the next one in person. I'm Lindsay.